Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be painting this six inch rock that I got from the Rock Shop Co. on Etsy. And I've already painted this one with Folk Art Multi-Surface in pure black. And the color palette we're gonna be doing today is just in time for the new year and was recommended to me by a YouTube subscriber, so thank you so much. What we are going to be doing is a color palette inspired by Pantone's 2023 color of the year, which is Viva Magenta, which is a really pretty magenta color. So I'm going to be custom mixing some paints and I'll kind of take you along the process. You can see how I get my colors. So when I'm custom mixing paints, I like to use these um, paint pots. If I use these smaller ones, um, there's more of a chance that I need to mix some more paint in the middle of the project. And sometimes it's hard to get the exact colors, so I just prefer to do the larger ones and then if I have any paint left over, I can do another smaller rock or um, I've seen people do magnets, which is super fun. So, okay. So I don't wanna do just the magenta. I want to add in some variation. So I'm gonna start with Deco Arts Tuscan Red. Probably one of my favorite red colors by Deco Art. Okay. And then I got this really pretty color from Deco Art. It's strawberry. I haven't used it yet, so I need to open it. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do so that I can have a couple different variations is I'm going to add some more red. And then. That color is so pretty. So I'm gonna add some pink. That'll give us a pretty magenta. And then I'm gonna add some more pink. And a little bit more. So I'm just gonna get my mixing brush. just a cheap little thick end mixing brush. I've used this for years. I'm just gonna mix these two together. So that is still very red. So I need to add more pink. And I'm actually gonna add a drop of white. So I think this is the color that best represents the actual Pantone color, the Viva Magenta. Hope you can see that. It looks very red on the camera, but it does have a lot of pink in it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna leave this one, um, the strawberry color, I'm just gonna leave that one, and then I'm going to Add a little bit more and I'm going to add a drop of white to this one. Almost out of my way. I need to get some more. some more white. I just want more of a contrast between these colors. I don't want them to all be the same. And I'm just going to add a drop of red to this to give it a little bit more of a magenta color. I still just want this one to be a little bit more pink, 
So I'm gonna add some of this dragon fruit. Okay, that looks great. Sometimes with the light going, it's kind of hard to see the colors. So I'm just gonna swatch these on um, a black background real quick, just to make sure they're the colors that I want. I like to use, this is a Nouveau brush, it's covered, so I have no idea what number it is, but I like to use one of these flat brushes when I'm doing swatching. So there are the colors. And I was worried that these two would be too similar, but I think they're gonna be just fine. And then I'm also gonna add gold to this. And this is glorious gold. Just to give it a little pop. Now I'm just gonna draw some guide marks. I'm gonna use this silicone stencil from the Happy Dotting Company. And this chalk pencil from Generals. That's the brand. And I'm just gonna start marking these out. And then I'm just gonna use this compass to do some guide marks going around. These rocks are really awesome because it has a hole in the middle, which this fits perfectly into and kind of helps it from sliding around. And then this can move a lot. So I like to like hold it firm here to make sure it's not going in and out as we're moving. And I'm just eyeballing the spacing here. It's not a specific distance apart on these. You just never know how many guide marks you're gonna need. So I always recommend having more instead of less. So that looks pretty good for guide marks. So I completely ruined my last set of Happy Dotting Company tools. Normally with these rods that I got from Amazon, to clean them I just put them in a little bit of acetone for a very short amount of time and it cleans them off just fine. These ones are made from a different material it says on here, do not soak tools in solvents or corrosive substances. So totally my fault. I didn't listen. I put them in acetone and it totally ate them away. So do not do that. Follow the instructions. I'm going to open this new set. So I like to use dotting rods for larger dots. These are awesome. They have the millimeter size right on there. So I'll be sure to show those throughout this video. And then I like to use nail stylus tools for smaller dots or walking the dots. And I will leave a um, size chart in the description of the video below for these ones. So for the center dot, I'm gonna do size 11. And I'm gonna do that Viva Magenta is what we'll call it, color. And 
Then I'm taking the small end of the pink tool and I'm gonna grab the gold and just go all the way around. I'm just gonna do one ring around this for this painting and the size six tool. I'm gonna do north, south, east, west on this one. I'm gonna get the gold again and use the small end of the pink tool. And I'm going to walk the dots. And then I'm gonna get the darker pink color. Actually, I'm gonna go with the Viva Magenta again. I'm gonna take the large end of this green tool and just make the tip of our petals going all the way around. And then I'm gonna flip it over and use the small end of the green tool and walk the dots. I'm gonna take the darker pink color and I'm gonna use the large end of the green tool I'm gonna make some swooshes. And as you can see, the tip of these petals are all on the same guide mark going all the way around. So I'm going to start my swoosh right underneath that same guide mark so that everything is lined up. So I'm just making a dot and I'm gonna drag along that guide mark going vertically. Then I'm gonna take the lighter pink color and the same large end of the green tool. And I'm going to make a swoosh and I'm putting it right a little bit shorter than the last one we made. And it kind of goes right in the little nook of that swoosh. And then flipping it over and using the small end to drag this down. Okay, I'm gonna keep with kind of this cross pattern. I'm gonna use this size seven, and I'm just going to be making a dot on top of all of the swooshes that we made.
I'm gonna get the gold and I'm gonna use the large end of the pink tool and walk the dots. Then I'm gonna use the large end of the white tool and the darker pink color. I'm going to walk the dots again. Then I'm going to use the four and a half and take the Viva magenta color and make the tip of our petal. Then I'm going to take the large end of the blue tool and that same color and we're just going to walk the dots. I'm going to do some swooshes. So I am using Oh, there it is. So this is, it's called the Taclon Rigger Brush by US Art Supply, and this is the number one. It's the medium size. So I'm gonna take the red and just get some good amount of paint in there. And I'm gonna go right above this is kind of harder. I'm actually gonna take the Lazy Susan off. You need to have a really sturdy foundation, especially when doing these rocks. So, I just kind of put my pinky down for support and I'm gonna start right at the top. I'm actually gonna turn this to the left. Bringing that down. We're gonna do the same all the way around. And then I'm just gonna go down the line here. I think that will give it a really pretty gradient effect. So we're gonna take the Viva Magenta color and it's just gonna be a little bit shorter. It's a little bit of water on this brush. We're gonna go a little bit shorter.
and we're gonna go a little bit shorter. I'm gonna take this light pink color and just in this little area here, I'm gonna make some little swooshes. And I tried to line all these brush strokes on this guide mark here. So that's where I'm gonna start our swoosh. So everything's lined up. And again, this is the green tool. We're using the large end to dot and the small end to drag. Now that we're done with the brush strokes, we can actually put the Lazy Susan back under. I'm gonna take the size seven tool and the Viva Magenta color. And I'm gonna make a dot on the tip of all of the swooshes, as well as the tip of these petals. And as you get towards the outside of a round object like this, the paint sometimes wants to go downward. So I just try to make a dot and then drag the paint upward so that more of it is at the top instead of the bottom. And then it's less likely to drip down. I'm gonna get the gold and I'm gonna use the larger end of the pink tool. And we are just going to walk the dots. I'm gonna take the large end of the green tool. Actually, um, I'm gonna take this four and a half and just make little tips of our petals here. And then I'm gonna take the large end of the blue tool and walk the dots. Okay, I'm gonna take that Bifa magenta color. I'm gonna make some swooshes, but I'm gonna use the large end of this blue tool this time.
And then I'm gonna take the same tool and I'm gonna go with the darker pink color. Same large end of the blue tool and I'm just gonna make a little bit shorter of a swoosh. And then I'm gonna take the Viva Magenta color again and this size five tool. And I'm going to do four dots, larger dots, right in between here. Okay, so before going in with more details, I'm just going to let this dry for about 10 minutes so that we can start doing some top dots. Okay, so I just let that dry for a little bit and now I'm gonna do some top dots. And I'm gonna use the large end of this green tool and this magenta color. And I'm just going to go on top of these dots. I'm going to layer a little bit more. I want these to be kind of puffy dots. So I'm just going to layer them a little bit. I'm gonna take this size five and a half tool and that same magenta color and just top dotting. And again, I'm just getting a lot of pain. I want these to be kind of plump. So I started top dotting these ones with the wrong color. So I just used a Q-tip to try to get as much off. And then I'm using the five and a half tool and I'm just gonna get the lighter pink color. And make some top dots on these ones here. And again, with these ones on the edge, I'm just trying to pull that paint up a little bit so that it's not dripping downward. Okay, I'm grabbing the gold and the small end of the pink tool, and I'm just gonna do three little dots right in this section here. Okay. 
I'm gonna take the large end of the blue tool and I'm gonna get the darker pink color and we are going to dot in the center of all of these four dots. I want to just add an accent, I think on the side of all of these, I'm going to use the large end of this tool, the blue tool, and the light pink, and I'm just going to put a dot on each side of that bottom design. Okay, and I am just going to let that layer dry and I'll probably do a couple more dots in here and a couple more dots on these outer ones. And then we will be done. Okay, and now I'm just going to add some lighter top dots. I'm going to take this four and a half tool and do the same. That's a little too big. I'll take the large end of the blue tool for these ones. Then I'm gonna take the larger end of the pink tool and the gold. And I'm gonna make little teeny tiny dots on the very inside of these four dots. Okay, and once this fully dries, we can use a wet wipe to erase the guide marks and then add your varnish of choice and we are finished.